This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the low-key theme song, okay? It's very awesome, very suspenseful, and very menacing, okay? So it goes like this, check it out. And then you can repeat it, okay? All right, let's get right into it. So Pretty awesome stuff. Right hand is just individual notes and left hand is individual bass notes. So it shouldn't be very hard to learn. All right. So we'll break it up to four parts. It's easy to learn. First part goes like this. Right hand starts on the D here. Middle C, go up an octave C, is a D here. It goes D, E flat, D, down to A, up to C sharp. So these are the five notes for the first part. All right, let's learn it again. So it goes D, E flat, D, A, C sharp. So every th uh, first three notes of each part is played fast. It goes and then the last two notes are slow, like that. Okay, it applies this concept to all of the parts of this lesson, so remember that. All right, left hand is what we have. We have bass notes. Just uh, the, find the lowest D octave on your piano. So if you can't reach an octave, just do the lower note, all right? So it's D bass note, and then up to F bass note. So if you do octave, it's just more menacing because it's more like bass, because you're doubling up on the bass. If you can't reach an octave, just do the lower notes. Right. Anyway, two hands together for this first part goes like this. So every single part is the same concept. You play the left hand with the third note and the last note, like this. Together. Together. Like that. So remember this concept. Left hand is played with the third and fifth last note of the right hand. So together. Together. Yeah, remember this concept because every single part is like this, but just with different notes. All right. Let's continue. Right hand for the second part goes D, E flat, D, A, and this time C as the last note. They're pretty much similar right hand except for the last note. Change C, okay? So remember these five notes for the second part. Left hand, uh, we go to the B flat octave and then A flat octave. So these are the two bass notes. Okay, once again, if you can't reach the octave, just play the lower two notes. All right, two hands together goes like the same concept as I said before. Play the left hand on the third note and the last note, like this. Together together like that that's it for the second part together together and that's it for the second part all right back to back the two parts of learned so far will be play like this and that's it moving on to the third part so the third part is pretty much nearly the same as the first part the only difference is the first note instead of going d e flat d the first note changes to c sharp but I, otherwise every single other note uh, on the two hands are exactly the same so check it out instead of that it goes c sharp e flat d okay instead of d e flat d like this like that so that's the third part exactly the same as the first part but just the first note is different instead of d is c sharp remember that it's a lot easier to learn it that way like this yeah it gives a little bit of a different feel there it's like ba -da -da, instead of da -da -da. okay so that's the third part based on the first part okay so back to back all three parts so far learns will be played like this so you can see the similarities and differences and how to connect it All right, now moving on to the fourth and last part. Right hand goes D, E flat, D, down to A, G. That's it for the fourth part. One more time, it goes D, E flat, D, down to A, G. 
And then the left hand, we have B flat down to E flat this time, okay? Instead of like the A flat, like the second part. So it's B flat down to E flat. And what same concept again, the uh, left hand is playing with the third and the last note on the right hand, like this. Skida, skida. And that's it, simple stuff, there you go. Skida, skida. That's it. So back to back, all four parts of this lesson will be played like this. There you go. Alright, so yeah. Once you get that, like, you can leave it like this. It sounds pretty good already like this. And like, other stuff, Im improvisations, you can do like, just octave, like, just running up to it. You're like... You can do that if you want. Yeah, but otherwise you can just leave it like the original. It sounds fine. It gives more suspense when you hold, like, each of the last note of each part yeah suspenseful menacing awesome villain theme okay even though loki is you can say the earlier movie is like a villain but eventually it's not we could not really become like a villain it's an interesting character loki really awesome but anyways hope you enjoyed this lesson if you want to learn more marvel or like other superhero themes you can just search up like your favorite like marvel avengers uh theme and you can learn it from my channel okay followed by amos or just search up the name of the theme and then followed by amos or in the use of search search so you can find it but yeah as for now um yeah that's pretty much it okay so uh i think what you can do for this one like if you want to do a bit more stuff i think you can do the right hand as octaves okay the right hand you can be like yeah it's good to practice octaves like that especially like faster notes so agility on the octaves and accuracy yeah something like that and then you can be like the last chord you can just like improvise on the e flat major back to d minor yeah so have fun hope you enjoyed this lesson and that's pretty much it for today's lesson if you enjoyed this lesson make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages meme songs video game music movie anime and cartoon theme songs and many more songs of all sorts that i teach so most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.